What is going on, all you tiny people? Draco Invictus here with an update for Grounded. Yes, the update 0.2.0 is going to release later today. August 26, 2020 should be releasing around 10 a.m. Pacific Time, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. So you'll just have to do the calculations for where you are in the world. Let us jump right into the patch notes because there is a lot of information to cover. As always, I will be putting a link to the full notes down in the description below. If you like this kind of content, make sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe, click the bell notification icon. I've got lots of grounded content coming up, so you're going to want to know and get notified when it goes live. Let's get to it. All right, so we're gonna dive right into this. New features, they're not telling us. As of the recording of this video, which is 1214 in the morning of August 26th, and they say to be announced, so we'll see. Changes in tuning to combat. Buffed damage on the Spider Fang Dagger so that it's on the higher end of tier two weapons. Buff damage on spike traps significantly. Spiders learned a new set of attacks to choose from instead of just their basic bite. Added a brief forced delay between block start events, preventing the player from perfect blocking by mashing the block button. Slightly reduced the bonus damage given by the eye patch. Adjusted larva blade poison proc so that it's consistent. Reducing the stun rating of two-handed weapons. Slightly reducing the amount of damage the mint mallet deals so it's in line with tier progression. Tier 2 Insects now have a cooldown after being stunned before they can be stunned again. Perfect blocking no longer reduces armor durability. Changes to the interface. Updated raw science UI icons to be more consistent across the game. Added shortcut for dropping items in the inventory screen. Drop stack is in the context menu. Added deposit or receive stack button on storage UIs. Shift clicking item stacks in the storage UIs will transfer the full stack clicked. Dragging an item stack onto the paper doll in the inventory screen will drop the item stack in the world. Crafting an item with a full inventory will now notify that the item was dropped in the world. Storage and flag marker icons have been revised, regrouped, and their colors have been shifted. Requires a one-time tour of the yard to set everything back. New trail markers will be blank by default. Slight revisions to a few scabby flavor schemes. Canteen slurps available are displayed in the equipped item HUD element. Additional icon art. Added a highlight effect that appears on interactable objects when the player looks at them. This feature is controlled by the Highlight Objects Accessibility setting. Changes to the world. Revived Clover Cave layout and lighting and moved entrance slightly. Revised the flooded area layout in the southeast corner of the yard. Updated house electrical socket with final non-blockout art. Items left in the world, not in a container, etc. For 48 to 72 in-game hours will eventually despawn once out of range of all players. Items loaded from a save game from version 0.1 whatever will have all item timers start at zero to give players a chance to react to this change. Players and critters now create ripples in the water while moving. Kids are starting to throw archer cookies over the fence along with their billy hogs and apples. Added a few footprints throughout the yard. Changes the buildings. Base buildings will now be more reliably anchored when built on top of objects such as the baseball. Palisades will no longer immediately collapse when an attached building is removed. Water containers can now collect falling droplets. The player can now drink from water containers while holding weapons. Stairs may now be embedded in the ground like scaffolds and ramps. Walls that are sandwiched above by two floors will have their crenellation suppressed. The camera will slide to the correct position when interacting with a weapon wall mount. 
and tweaked the place position of the weapon wall mount to be more centered. Performance changes. Better windowed full screen performance in Windows versions of the game. Better UI inventory GPU performance. Significant load time improvement for games with large bases. Yes. Better GPU performance during nighttime. Other changes. The voice chat activation setting is now properly reapplied when entering a game. Scabby flavor scheme collectibles now have a pulsing light and are slightly bigger to make them more noticeable. Hedge berries now float in water. Prevented a very large number of ants from being assigned the same task such as killing a weevil. Reduced the camera near clip plane, fixing the camera clipping into the player when using a high field of view. Polished up spear movement and aiming animations for first person. You should now see grass extend to the furthest reaches of the yard. Ants now find in store lost ice caps. Soldier ants can now properly drop ant heads as loot. Tall woody weeds are now displayed as husky weed. Dandelions and husky weed both still supply weed stems. Husky weed now respawns. Ants will not be happy if you take their eggs. The resource analyzer now animates when analyzing. A couple of new smoothies can be whipped up at the smoothie station. Bug fixes for all platforms. Top community issues. Incapacitated players are now saved instead of ignored when a save game is made or they exit the game. With this, players that reload an incapacitated character will have their backpack spawned where they died instead of them just spawning without their inventory in the world. It is not retroactive. Items and insects will spawn under the world less. Cleaning up items and insects that have fallen through the level upon load, this should help with insect population and egg spawning. Insects should no longer spawn inside of large pond rocks. Any insect currently in the rocks upon load should be snapped out. This should help with insect population and egg spawning. Grass planks will no longer fall through the ground. Fixed hedge berries appearing in incorrect positions for clients, making them difficult to harvest. Fixed torch sound effects. Insects should no longer walk through walls when not looking at them or when they are at your faraway base. Fixed giant arrows sometimes spawning when shot into a large insect. Major bug fixes. Multiplayer clients will no longer crash when despawning droplets containing items. Game fixes. Optimize building collapses so the game will no longer lock up when collapsing huge structures. The game will no longer crash when collapsing very large structures. Fixed issues where walls could get built in between a wall snap spot messing up your wall grid. Nats will now need a little more Delta V than a bounce web can provide if they want to go to space. Fix the problem where insects would not become appropriately hungry and sleepy after the player slept. Items, equipment, and resource fixes. Standalone buildings that are attached to walls and floors will collapse as well if the floor or wall they are on collapses. Large rake rock now has proper collision. Soda pop can now be dumped from a canteen. Fixed water droplets near sprinkler and oak tree that respawn immediately when you approached. Fixed gas arrows not being one-time use. I don't like that one. Rotten bee armor can no longer be repaired for free. Workbench light no longer be disabled after loading a save. All right, world fixes. Fixed wall crenellations appearing inconsistently on clients and the host. Fixed wall crenellations appearing incorrectly after loading a saved game. Fixed fingers moving on weapon hand during one-handed movement animations. Restructured third-person body aiming for unarmed punches. Unfinished buildings no longer block the third-person camera. Swapping armor after having collected raw science no longer displays the material of the previously equipped armor. Fixed issue with seeing fogless voids in the world after having emerged from a large body of water. Puddle drinking animation and camera improved to address clipping issues. Fixes to the UI. Fixed scabby bug scheme not appearing in list correctly. The resting UI updates properly upon bedtime. Scabby won't flash thirst and hunger danger if levels are good. 
defrag button in inventory can now be navigated using the gamepad. Less explosive results when using the drop stack action. Fixed clover hood and poncho descriptions being the same as the leggings. Specific bug fixes for the Windows 10 Store version. Fixed issues with 4K full screen resolution failing to work properly. Fixed issues with Alt Tab crashing the game. And bug fixes for the Xbox One version, reduced screen edge artifacts and flashing. All right, guys, this has been one heck of a video. I have a lot of thoughts on a lot of these things. I can't wait to see what's actually happening in the game, how these changes are going to take effect. Some of this stuff is pretty cool. Some of the stuff I totally understand. Some of the stuff I downright don't like. And there are certain things that I won't be doing in this game anymore. Anyway, if you want to talk to me about the changes that are happening with patch 0.2.0, then check me out tonight. I will be live streaming right here on YouTube. And of course, the best way to get notified about that is to subscribe, click the bell notification icon. And when I go live, you'll get a notification. If you guys have any questions, comments, kicks, complaints, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section below. And as always, take care of yourself out there. This is Drake Invictus saying this has been the greatest day in my life. See ya!